How's it going everybody? Here today with some more real match footage of me. My friend Notro has been kind enough to let me record some footage of our matches. So I've actually got a couple of different characters that I've versed but we're going to start today with Katarina. So in these videos it's more looking at what I do opposed to the opponent okay so we're looking at all the mistakes I make, all the opportunities I miss, what I do well and of course what I could do better. So stay tuned as there are lots of things I can do better. So we got a stage with walls. That's always good to, good to keep in mind when it comes to Oki, wall carry, and just general positioning. So I get hit by a counter hit straight away. And a good hit confirmed by him too. Try to do a back 2-2 there and drop the punish. I sort of get stuck in my mind after I do those sort of things. And you notice I did a back 2-2 shortly after. Followed by me failing to launch punish a low. I failed to launch punish that armor move, I'm pretty sure it is launch punishable, but at least I got a counter hit from it and it ended up in my favor. Gotta be careful with Katarina, I mean she's got some good hit confirms. Really I need to, I don't know if he's confirming that or just doing the back 4 1 plus 2 at this point in time. So I need to keep that in my mind and be ready to duck the follow up. He didn't do the the high there, so good, he's, he's working to condition me. Trying to use some plus frames. You'll notice I'm sidestepping right a lot. I mean, I think that's the general consensus against Katarina, that you should be sidestepping right. I'm not going to be sidestepping right the whole time, because I mean, just because that's considered the opponent's weaker direction, doesn't mean they don't have moves to track that way. So I've got a lot of pokes here. Dropping all my wall hits today. <laughs> Even dropping the white floor. Once again, guys, remember this is an online connection. Um, I can say poor Notra actually had the short end of the stick here, where a lot of his combos were dropping because of the lag more than me. So I put myself slightly plus with a jab and do a throw. Being very aggressive with the throws here. And I get hit by a snake in. But he drops it. And a little get up kick for the win. Against most people, I typically keep using get up kicks until they prove that they can react to them or outspace them and punish. Second time, start, well, second start where I've sort of backdashed at the beginning and then run up with a long range move. That's how I'm a low though. He's all about running up for the Oki. I am too, typically. Both degrees. That evasive move. So that time a sidestep left worked well. I stuffed up my back, my sidestep one sway there. So I was supposed to do sidestep one back up forward one. And that would have probably caught him, to be honest. But because I stuffed it up, I lost it. By that back four again. If I was playing a bit more patient here, I think I'd be a bit more effective. I could whiff punish a bit better. Lucky to get the rage drive, and then I stuff up the wall hit. Anybody's game? Yeah, <laughs> no, lucky jazz. I mean, that was very risky there. Um, Round three. Correct me if I'm wrong, but if, if he did the stance one there, I wouldn't have been able to interrupt. So that was a real gamble by me. As again, you can see, I'm rushing in. I'm going direct in all the time, and I keep getting hit by these different moves, whether it's a counter hit, back four, or a hop kick. I've really got to be a bit more patient against him. I'm lucky there, he pressed the button. Because I've been doing well rather four a lot in the past. I guess I'd sort of got it in his mind that I wasn't going to do the follow-up. And I'm lucky with my 180 degree tracking. But I start with that move straight away. Drop the wall bit. Need another snake edge. I swear guys, I can block this stuff. But well, today. Thought he was on the side there, so I went for thinking the forward one plus two was guaranteed. 
at the time I could have launched, but hey, I got a wall splat from it, so I gave you the round. Using a lot of the wipe the floor. Yeah, that's pretty much my snake here, I guess. <laughs> Nick 37, I believe. Nick 37 on block, so a risky move for me to use. And I finally launch it. Not an optimal launch, I could have done up for 2-1 there, but a launch is a launch, right? And once again, it gave me the round. Okay, game 3. I think it's down for 2-2, two -two. it's down for 2-2. Two -two. Once again, I'm, I'm not respecting it. I'm trying to press buttons in the middle. Perfect. So that was that was a complete stomp thing. I wasn't respecting enough. I'm keeping very linear at the moment, which uh, I'm not ducking. Didn't hit confirm that properly. Put him plus skin, and look, he's realised that he can sidestep right. Nina is weak to the opponent sidestepping right. Even plus two there, he can still sidestep. with the pick up there, but drop the combo. We shouldn't have gone for the standard one because I could have been a bit of a typical launch. Oh, jump, stupid sidestep. <laughs> Another stuff about down forward two. No, down forward two, sorry, it was a back two or an up forward two or something. Okay, now there's an up two. I am random ducking a lot in this match. It's definitely something I need to work on. Side walk around the armor room, but all I do is a forward one plus two. Oh, gonna launch that cancel. That time I don't hit confirm, but it works in my favor as he presses a button. People always try and jab between the up forward two one, but if they do jab there, they get hit by the follow up. Oh, I tried to hit confirm though. 4214, because if the one hits, the four is guaranteed, as long as you don't delay it too much. Snake Eat is absolutely getting work done on me, so I say I'm random ducking, but I'm still getting hit by all the lows. So, not reading them very well. There, I get a hit confirm. I try and go for my um, the cross up. And he throws in a rage art. I mean, I had typically been pressing buttons after that, so I can see his mindset there. However, I was quite cautious. I was trying to play it quite patient there. Right, next game. I'm trying to make him come to me. I think there was a down back 3 plus 4 one. Miss input. Yeah, I'm really going for the whiff here. And it's not working in my favor at all. Okay, every time you see a back 1, that's a miss input too. That time I tried to catch the side step, so I did a side step myself and then a down forward two. Saved by the quarter circle forward one. Using down forward four and back four as pokes, trying to get that counter hit launch or just add a little bit of damage. That down forward 3-3, three, three, I tried a while setting 2. If he cancels, that works. But if he doesn't cancel, then I should be doing an up forward 2-1. Every time he does that, the 3 string, I'm trying to wait. So the last hit is Nick 14. <laughs> and I drop him. I got the punish, but I thought it was going to kill. And then I thought, oh, I'll just do a simple forward three, but I mistimed it. Consistency for the win. That one, one, two, down forward four. It's a nice little frame trap. I'm pretty sure most, I'm pretty sure every character can backdash it though. And at least the medium sized characters can sidestep it too. 
punish, and the wolf carry, <laughs> and I stuff it up with Lord and Sorry guys, one day I'll get my combos working. Maybe when it's not online, or not on a DSL connection. I didn't break the throw. And the Rage Shrug. When I do a Rage Shrug like that, I'm not expecting it to hit, to be honest. I'm doing it because it puts me plus enough to give me a free 50-50. So, I'm just using it to give myself a free opening. If it hits, man, that's excellent. Okay, I'm still on 10 frame punish with that. <laughs> with punish with a 10 frame. I mean, if you're unconfident, a 10 frame can work. Finally get the 12 frame punish on the hot pick. And then a basic move gets me. It'll be very cautious with rage, not do anything too big. My turn to let him come to me. It's a little close every now and then. And it worked in my favour. By the way guys, ignore the ranks, um, I don't play ranked online, I played it for like the first week or two, and Nutra actually just got the game the day we played this on PC, he's got it on console, got it on PC for this. Still don't duck the back for one just two. And take him out by the, the quick low. Even though there's a tell of the jab after it, it's still quite hard to react to, of course. Alright, with punish. With the up for one, not the best with punish, but hey, it worked. And the snake edge. Drops his combo though. Let's get out of his pressure. I go for a whiff punish, which, hey, whiffs! <laughs> Finally get that side combo. Well, I'm lucky he doesn't punish the spring kick. Drop my combo there. Slow mo and the stun and everything. I, think it was I get the 50 50. I do the, high, the mid high high, hoping for the wall splat, not hit confirming or anything. Lucky he didn't duck. And then that does leave me negative, but most people, when they jab, you can get an attack reversal. So it's not the best setup in the world, but I do it quite a bit. Really eating the lows here. Not hit confirming up for 2 1 still. Oh, that works. One plus four works. Alright. Well, those are all the matches of Nina vs. Katarina. I'll upload another one of these matches against Notra soon. The main thing I took from this is I'm playing a bit too linear. I'm not hit confirming properly. And I'm randomly ducking low while I'm not actually blocking the lows. So those are things I'll try and work on. Anyway, catch you next time.